Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this cool looking LED tower with 5mm LEDs. This will be a two part build. This video will contain the soldering process and the assembly of LEDs to make the LED tower. The next video will have the main microcontroller part which will control the LED tower in order to display cool visuals and blinking sequences. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So this is the LED tower which is made from 5mm LEDs, 180 in total. So I bought these 5mm LEDs from utsource.net, link is in video description. This LED tower is made because of this useful jig which I found on Thingiverse. Because of this jig, making the hexagon pattern became so much easier. This LED tower consists of total 10 levels. Each level is made up of 18 LEDs soldered together in parallel in an hexagon shape. Now how do we get started? Well first we have to assemble the LEDs on the jig and align them in such a way that the positive end will be outside and the negative end will be face inside. This is crucial as this will help in soldering all the levels together properly. So yeah, this is how I made the first level. After I finished one level, I repeated this whole process and made 10 of these. After that, I tested each one of them one last time. And now it's time to assemble the tower. One hour later. Now we just need to solder all the 10 levels together, which will be an easy task, right? Well, it was definitely not an easy task, but I do manage to finish this build. The positive terminal is outside, so we just need to solder wire on the outside and leave the inside part open. Inside ground port of each level will be connected with a MOSFET and that MOSFET will toggle the LED level individually. After joining all the hexagon LED levels together, just solder the positive wire to outside wire connection and solder 10 negative wire to each of the LED levels ground port. In order to test this whole setup, Connect the ground port of all the LED level together in parallel on a breadboard and power them with any 3.2 volt supply. I am using this LIFO cell to power this setup. And our setup is working. Now we just need to make a circuit for controlling each LED layer separately. As you can see clearly, there are total 18 LEDs in each layer and we cannot just power 18 LEDs in parallel with an Arduino spin. So we need a MOSFET or a transistor setup to trigger the LED layer. More about that in the next video. Leave a comment if this video was fun. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys soon.